As the sun rises on a fresh new day, we are reminded of God's unwavering faithfulness, ever present through every phase of our lives. Whether we're experiencing moments of joy or facing challenges, His steadfast love remains constant. In our highs and lows, times of clarity, or periods of confusion, God is always at work, orchestrating all things for our good. The Bible encourages us repeatedly to reflect on His endless faithfulness, praising Him not only in times of victory, but also during trials. Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23 reminds us, because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. This passage beautifully reassures us that God's mercy and faithfulness are renewed with each day, and His love never falters. As we greet the morning, we can rest assured that just as He has been faithful in the past, He will continue to guide us through all seasons of life. Psalm 36 verse 5 says, Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. His faithfulness transcends all understanding, stretching into every aspect of our lives, joy, sorrow, growth, and waiting. Because of his unchanging nature, we can confidently face the future, knowing that whatever comes, he is with us. This morning, as we come before the Lord in prayer, Let's lift our voices in gratitude for his constant presence and thank him for the unchanging love that sustains us through every season. Heavenly Father, I come before you today with a heart filled with gratitude. As I rise to embrace this new day, I am reminded of your incredible faithfulness. You are the God who remains with me through every season the one who never changes, and whose love and mercy are constant. I thank you for your unshakable faithfulness that has carried me through both joyful and challenging seasons of my life, and I praise you for your steadfast nature. Father, I thank you for the gift of this new day. Each morning is a reminder of your goodness and grace. I don't take it for granted, the breath in my lungs, the strength in my body, and the opportunity to experience life once again are all gifts from you. As Psalm 118 verse 24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. I choose to find joy in this day, knowing you are with me. Lord, I pause now to reflect on your faithfulness throughout my life. In moments of joy, in times of struggle, and during seasons of waiting, you have always been there, guiding me, sustaining me, and showing me your love. Lamentations 3 verses 22 to 23 says that because of your great love, we are not consumed, and that your mercies are new every morning. I thank you for these new mercies and for the compassion you've shown me. I also thank you for your faithfulness in the good times, in moments of blessing and abundance, where I felt your favor and provision. James 1 verse 17 reminds me that every good and perfect gift is from above, and I acknowledge that all the blessings in my life come from you. But I also praise you for your faithfulness in the difficult moments. There have been seasons of pain and uncertainty, yet even then, you have been with me. Thank you for the strength to endure, for comforting me when I felt weak, and for providing peace in the chaos. Psalm 23 verse 4 reassures me that even when I walk through the darkest valley, I need not fear, for you are with me. Lord, I also give thanks for your faithfulness during the waiting periods of life. In times when answers seemed delayed, or when I waited for your promises to be fulfilled, you remained faithful. You've taught me patience and trust, reminding me that your timing is always perfect. 
Isaiah 40 verse 31 says that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. I thank you for renewing my strength in the waiting. I praise you for being unchanging, Lord, even as life around me constantly shifts. Hebrews 13 verse 8 reminds me that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I find peace in your constant nature, knowing that you are always in control. In the small, everyday moments, you have also been faithful. From answered prayers to moments of joy, I see your hand at work, and I thank you. Help me to recognize the daily blessings and to give you praise for even the smallest of miracles. Lord, I trust your faithfulness for the future. Though the path may be uncertain, I know you have good plans for me. As Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, You have plans to prosper me, not to harm me, plans to give me hope and a future. I also thank you for your faithfulness in my relationships, Lord. Whether with family, friends, or colleagues, you have guided me to grow in love, patience, and understanding. Help me reflect your faithfulness in how I treat others. Father, as I continue in your presence, I am reminded of the many ways you have shown up in my life, even when I wasn't aware. There are countless moments where your grace carried me, where your protection shielded me, and where your provision met my needs in ways I couldn't foresee. Lord, I acknowledge your hand in both the seen and unseen, and I give you all the glory for how you've orchestrated every detail of my life with precision and love. Lord, I surrender this day, my plans, my worries, and my desires into your hands. Help me to walk in alignment with your will, to remain sensitive to your guidance, and to listen for your voice in the midst of life's noise. I ask for your peace to dwell in my heart, a peace that surpasses all understanding and guards me through every circumstance. Your word in Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 tells me to be anxious for nothing but to pray about everything, and as I lay my concerns before you now, I trust that your peace will flood my soul. In moments where doubt or fear tries to creep in, remind me of your promises. Help me to declare with boldness that greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. 1 John 4 verse 4 Let my faith in you be my foundation, unshakable and strong, built on the truth of your word. When I feel weak, Remind me that your strength is made perfect in my weakness, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, and that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, Philippians 4 verse 13. Heavenly Father, I ask for your supernatural favor over my life and the lives of my loved ones. Open doors that no man can shut, and close doors that are not from you. Lead me on the path of righteousness for your name's sake, and protect me from the schemes of the enemy. I declare your protection over my mind, my heart, and my spirit today, and I trust that you are surrounding me with your angels as I go about my day. Psalm 91 verse 11 Lord, I also pray for an increased sensitivity to the needs of those around me. Let me be a vessel of your love, kindness, and compassion. Use me as your hands and feet in this world, to bring encouragement, healing, and hope to those who are hurting. Help me to love others as you have loved me, with patience, understanding, and grace. And as I prepare to rest in the assurance of your promises, I remember that you are not only the God of today, but of every tomorrow. I trust that you are already in my future, making the crooked path straight, Isaiah 45 verse 2, and lighting my way, Psalm 119 verse 105. 
I place my complete trust in you, knowing that your plans for me are good, and that you are working everything out for my ultimate benefit. Romans 8 verse 28. Father, I commit this day, and every day, into your capable hands. May your will be done in my life. May I walk with a heart full of gratitude and trust, knowing that you are my faithful Father, and that nothing can separate me from your love. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39. As I close this time of prayer, I lift my voice once again in thanksgiving for your presence, your protection, and your promises. Finally, I praise you for your unchanging presence during times of change. Malachi 3 verse 6 says, I the Lord do not change, and I rest in that assurance. Life may bring transitions, but you are my constant. As I close this prayer, I thank you once again for your faithfulness in every aspect of my life. Whether I'm in a season of joy, challenge, or waiting, you are always with me, guiding and loving me. In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. If this prayer has blessed you, type Amen in the comments below. Let's stand in faith together and believe that God's faithfulness will continue to guide you today and always. Share this video with someone who needs encouragement and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more uplifting prayers. Stay blessed.